Welcome to Let's Talk, bud. I'd ask you to get me a beer, but I was so excited about the show, I already started it. I know. It's, it's, it's good beer, too. Well, look, you know, beer is food. No, you're not wrong. I mean, it's, it's not the brand I usually go with. but Well, I don't know if you noticed the slight little change here. This is a no Boston zone. So for now, until I'm able to calm my anger down and not be so mad about the Bruins, maybe once the Leafs beat them the first time in the regular season, then, then I will get you your precious Boston lager back. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Um, it, have you noticed who's in the yard? What the heck is Space Monkey doing here? But have you not watched the past two episodes till the very end? The first one, I had a moose come in here, leave a couple tracks, destroy everything, hop over. It was horrible. The second time I set a booby trap, Jim came out here. He asked for schmick schmacks and where he could get a beer. I thought it was the moose. I almost fought him. I almost fought him. Oh, that would not have gone well. For him? I'm not going there. I would have beat him up, bud. I'm telling you right now. So I got Space Monkey here. He's here. He's watching the yard for me. Because if this moose comes around, I want to make sure I have protection. And what better than a monkey from outer space, Reed? Now, I got something to find out about this. I got to go to management. Have we been paying the transit bill to bring him all the way from orbit every show? What do you mean, pay the transit bill? Dude, did you not notice the bananas? I wondered why there were bananas sitting there. This is literally all... I don't even think he drinks. He just eats... See, look, he's already... Here. There you go, monkey! That's for you, bud! What, do you want me to throw you a beer? I just threw it! Here... I'll throw another one. You want another one? All right, buddy. There you go. What? You want me to throw it? He want me to throw it to you? All right, monkey. One sec. I gotta stand up. He's get it. No. All what? right, monkey. Just like Stone Cold, bud. You ready? Oh hell yeah, space monkey! If I wasn't sitting here, I wouldn't believe any of this just happened. Did you see that, Reed? That looked like Tom Brady. That was awesome. I've never seen anyone throw a banana that accurately. It took two other bananas, but the third one... Well, you were doing the sky hook the first two times. I honestly thought he was going to jump off the shed. I really didn't know he wanted to catch it. I, I had no idea. No, no, I'm glad he didn't. We don't need any broken ankles from Space Monkey, because then Shane Saber is going to be all over us. Well, I don't know. Shane Saber, yeah, that's one thing. I mean, how's he going to get that... Space Monkey wouldn't be able to get that monkey flip in off that... So the velocity off that spear would be taken right down off that's that right. monkey. That's right, and they're former combo. tag team champions. We kill his tag partner. We would, yeah. We're so going to be in big trouble. So Monkey, just like a real professional that he is, he waited. He waited until the right time. There was two other bananas that went flying past him, but he waited for that third one because he knew it was coming right to his hands because the third time is a charm, Reed. Just like Steve Austin used to. You miss him with a couple of beers, he'd just stand there and wait. Just stand there and wait. More will come. It's all good, right? More will come. What is it? What is this sound? How did he? What? Well, he's got the other two. Th th thanks, bud. <laughs> hey, no problem, bud. Thank you. I really appreciate everything you're doing, Space Monkey. This is good. My <laughs> okay. I don't know if dogs and monkeys get along. I dogs think terrified. we might have to figure something out here. Dogs terrified. If He's they're gonna have to coexist. We got we got an issue. Well, you know what? Honestly, if both of them were together, this would be a great alarm system for this moose. Because I'm telling you, I I honestly almost beat the crap out of Jimmy the other day. He asked for schmickschmacks. I think a schmickschmack means a smoke. I don't really know. Schmickschmack, pick pack. I don't know. But honestly, amongst this dog and this monkey, we've got to catch this moose one way or another. Where did this moose come from? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, but apparently he likes beer. Apparently he likes Timbits. Apparently he likes smokes. I honestly don't know. I don't know where he came from. I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he wants with me. But if he wants a piece of me, he knows exactly where to find me. Because I will beat the living crap out of a moose. I don't care if it's a person, moose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat that moose up. And I'm going to hang his antlers right over top of this Let's Talk Bud sign. Huh? How you like that, Moose, huh? Now, now, hold on, hold on, because the last time we were talking about hanging something else over the, the set, it didn't go well. So let's let's just figure this out for a second. Because Reed. if we're going to antler a moose... 
We're going to have to have a plan. You know what? I, I was mad for a second, but I think you're absolutely right. I think we need more of a plan. I think we need more. We need a little bit of strategy to get this moose and get these antlers on top because it's it, it might take more than just me. You might need to help. Thank, thankfully, I've got Space Monkey here. I, I've got my dog, the German Shepherd. I don't know. He, I don't know if he's more scared of the monkey or the moose because this moose has been coming around for God knows how long and the dog hasn't said a word about it. But Space Monkey, I know he will say a word about this moose. This is going to get interesting real fast. I think we need to go into a segment here. This is going to be a great segment. the time between cuts here because I don't know how you come up with these things so fast. Yeah. Whatever. Close For the reason mouth. you have me here. Chug the beer. Oh, we can do this. Chug a beer. Chug a beer. Oh, hey, bud. Hey. Damn it, that's twice. Hey, you're chugging a beer? Yeah. Hey, I got one. Well, it's not a beer, but uh, it's a tea. Here. pretty dark out now, bud. So it's time for the final thought. I went and bought some smokes at the store the other day. Jimmy asked to bum some, but I told him no friggin' way. There's a moose on the loose, and he's stealing all my goods. 
I can't just give you smokes with this moose in the woods. You've got to wait until it's daytime and make sure the coast is clear. Then just ask me nicely and I'll give you smokes and beer. I'm always willing to share because it's not fun to drink alone. But this moose ain't getting shit. He can take his big ass back home. What? We got a moose loose and you want to talk about guests? Who do you got? No! Kip Moist is not coming back on this show! Good episode, eh, bud? Really good episode, but that Kip Moist guy keeps calling. He wants back on. I don't know why. Like, I, dude, he was so awkward it the was, first time. You, you weren't the one he was leaning over to talk to the mic on. I know. That was kind of funny, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, yes, your, yeah. Your face on it was pretty... What? That's the monkey alarm. Is that the gate? The gate just slammed. Hey. What the hell? What's... Hey, hey, you guys see that moose? What? The moose that just went by. How did you... We... It's a little suspicious. I'm not going to lie. We missed the moose? I was born in the alley.